kwa yule ataleta matokeo kwa neno ya yule ataleta matokeo you see two people here two characters are here amen na ukristo siku hizi tunakimbilia matokeo ili tuami but maandishi nasema Mungu ashayeandika na neno la Mungu haya danga danga haleluya tumesoma hiyo biblia hapa kila saa is number 23 and verse 19 God sent Balaam and they told go tell Balaam I am not a man to lie mimi sio binadamu nitakai wala sio mwana wa binadamu niombe msamaha haleluya si nimesema na ninatenda haleluya haleluya Jeremiah 32 and verse number 27 mimi ndio Mungu mumbaji wa mwili yote una kitu ngumu kwangu nakuuliza haleluya i am the god of all flesh the is living to haleluya jamani tuamini kwa neno ama tuamini kwa matokeo gani ha tuamini kwa neno ama tuamini kwa matokeo matokeo yanaweza kuwa mabaya batimanishi Mungu ni mwaoka. Haleluya. Amen. Hayo ni mtu msema. Matokeo unaweza kuomba kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu but kitu inatokea mbele sema ah. Sasa sina dhani vitu na fadhili yenyewe. Ah ah. Neno la Mungu halibadiliki. Inamaanisha imani yako nilipo kwa matokeo sio kwa neno la Mungu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Na wote Yesu anasema anaambiwa wamebarikiwa wale wameamini na hawaja kuna. Haleluya. Amen. Hii ni sentence of sin. Ukisoma tena book of numbers pati ni story ya Caleb and Joshua and their brothers. Kasa kwa Moses uh, numbers 13 from verse 1. Moses Mungu akamwambia Musa tuma Awa vijana 12 the tribe of Judah kila tribe itwe mtu moja moja si ndio sawa kwa tribe of Israel ni tribe ngapi 10 sina maanisha walikuwa vijana 12 walienda kuspai nini na amen wakaenda kuspai la wakatembea kwa siku ngapi 40 days baina haleluya utasoma hiyo story Tunaisoma tu yote. Kwa sababu watu wana muda, tutaenda tutaisoma yote. Maana sasa tu kwa kiasi. Haleluya. Then kwenda kufika huko wakapata vijitu ya wa the land of Canaanite, Hittites, Jubitites, Levites. Haleluya. Jamani nikuulize, hii shamba wanaenda kuspai, utafuta ili kwenda wazo yao ama Mungu alinena kwa babu yao. Mungu alinena kwa babu yao Abraham kwa kitabu cha kutoka mwanzo wa nini 15 naye akamwambia Mungu akamtokea Abraham akamwambia mimi ndimi Mungu mwokozi wako ambao alikutoa kwa kwa land ya Ur kwa baba yako huko akakuleta naye nitakupa hii mji ama hii land ambayo umeishi amen bali kizazi chako watakuwa foreign you see your descendant will be foreigners in a foreign land kwa muji ambao sio yao kwa miaka 400 years then abraham akamuliza nitajiwaje utani bariki then they will be foreigners so it was genesis chapter 15 from verse 1 is a big story ndao wakafunga gano naye Mungu akamwambia kwa kweli kizazi chako watateseka sana ama ukoo uzao wako watateseka sana kwa muji ambao sio yao kwa miaka 400 naye nitawatoa na baraka nitawaleta kwa hii hapa kwenye maisha ambayo sikana nitawaleta kana maisha ya hitaisi kwa hiyo mji waishi 
Hallelujah. Samson, you see all the descendants of God, whom we call the children of Israelites, when we talk about Zawa Waka Yako, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have it for you. Let me see. Uh, the book of uh, 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 Genesis. Genesis 15. Mwabia mweza ko atuwamini kwa matokeo. Tunamini kwa nene. Mbije wewe unamini pia. Asbeste chaka kwa hiyo. Anakombia aji. Huh? Hallelujah. We don't believe in the outcome of prayer. We believe in the word of God. But you le ameamini kwa matokeo. Matokeo haina jibu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are seeing the book of Genesis chapter number number 15. Uh, let's go very quick. So he said to him, Oh, start verse number six. Verse six. Bible saying, Genesis chapter 15, verse number six. In the same way, and he believed in the Lord. Abraham believed in God and account to him, it to him for righteousness. Verse number seven. Then he said to him, God said to Abraham, I am the Lord who brought you out of the womb of the Chaldeans to give you this land to inherit it. Eight, and he said, Lord, Abraham akawaliza, mungu, itajiwaje kama nikauridi ili shamba. Hallelujah. Verse number nine, he said, so he said to him, bring me, this is all covenant, our nyama, Ndege naona yuko hapa, naona pigeon, naona yule ngombe jau mdogo, kuja tu akate, aweke kwa matapau, aweke aga, aga. They are sealing the covenant. Hallelujah. God, ready leo? God does not work out of the covenant. Mungu, atendi kazi, inje ya akano. Hallelujah. Are you listening to him? Kuna ni leo. Neno la Mungu, the word of God is a covenant word. Hallelujah. Neno la Mungu ni neno la akana. Sasa wacha kuiomba tu hii kwa. It is a covenant word. Any word that God spoke, it is a covenant word. Hallelujah. Naona kama Mungu anatia agano na Abraham na damu ya wanyama unanielewa Amen Are you what I'm saying Verse number 12 Now when the sun was going down a deep sleep fell upon Abraham and behold a horror and great darkness fell upon him Abraham Then he said to Abraham God said to Abraham No certainly that your descendants will be the strangers in the land that is not theirs and will serve them and they will be afflicted them for 400 years baada ya kutenda gano mungu wakakuja kwa mwabia sasa vile haya mpato mekutangia umejua abraham bala jaza ana mtoto bado mke wake pia sara ni tasa kuna nileo are you understanding lift up your head they will not share you know, you know. Attention, please. Attention. Watoto, mama, watoto, keep, keep watoto. Hallelujah. Watoto, musitembe, mkei chini. I understand what I'm saying. God, when you want to do something, number one, he made what you call a cop, covenant. Mungu wakita kutenda kitu kwa maisha yako, namba ya kwanza, namba ya kwanza na panya hivi, anatengeneza mada kwa hawe na wewe. Hallelujah. He made the covenant. So that's why he who believes in him, his word must come to pass. Hallelujah. We don't believe in God 
because of the outcome. Uh -uh. We believe in God because of the word of the covenant that he spoke. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 9, you see, after the flood, God made a covenant with the Noah. Noah. That for sure, I will never, never destroy the creations with the flood again. And the rainbow shall be a sign for me and all the people upon the earth. When I see the rainbow, I will remember my covenant. Up to date, the flood I've never destroyed. Look at that. Can I see faith in you? See your name, man. Your name, man, in the near. Honor. Kukuja Kanisa, Sunday, Wakudu Mungu, sing without Ufunuo is useless. Are you understand? It's useless. That's why when a patakama, when you don't make a imani kwai, how do you get a imani in Gilini? Mutu Akzema, ah, it is come on by you and give you a panel of Zulu. You don't know which is the real faith. Until one day you will know the truth of the living faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be attention kwa easy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You understand it? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to open the blind eyes. To help understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joshua and the Caleb walijua ili shamba ni neno la Mungu ambao Mungu alitia agano na baba yao. Hallelujah. Sasa hao kuenda kujaribu walijua this is a covenant that God made with our father Abraham. Then we must pursue and take it over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's like It's like you are coming to test God. You are coming to test God. And God say, Thou shalt never test your God. Ye Mungu mkuu anasema Mti yote asini jaribu bali ya kuje achukue. Hallelujah. Umejua wana umjaribu kwa sababu macho bali mejifunga. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever God say you are. Yeah. Whatever God say you are. Whatever God say I am. Whatever God say I am. So no one has ever come over there and come on a land. Because you know what I said to say. Whatever God say I am. I am. Whatever God say I am. I am. Whatever God say I can do. I can do. Whatever God say I am. I am. Whatever God say I can do. I can do. Whatever God say I can do. I can do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mesha, I mean uh, Joshua and Caleb walijua ili shamba ni yenye agano ambao Mungu aliweka na babu yao Ibrahim. So ni neno ya Mungu iliwekwa agano. Kwa sababu bila aliweka agano na Noah mpaka wa leo. Nani hajawahi kuona rendo hapo? Hebu kwa mikono yako. Nani hajawahi kuona rendo hapo? Tangu zaliwe. 
na nimekanga ditamu a Mungu aweke agano na noa nimekanga eh mpaka leo nimekanga eh na sasa kwa nini kwa sasa kwa nini agano pake Yesu Kristo unajaribu why are you trying this hallelujah na hii agano ambao tupo sio damu ya wanyama na ndege vile vile noa alitengeneza na Isa ni damu ya bin Adam ambao ni mwanawe which mean the covenant that work in the name of Jesus should be stronger than the covenant that work with Abrahamic that work with Noah hallelujah if god say that i will heal you in the name of Jesus i must be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ don't look at the outcome look upon the mark Hallelujah. Ayatazama hii. Hata kama ndio walipewa agano. I'm giving you history kidogo ya kuamini, amini kwa neno usiamini kwa matokeo. Matokeo. Nasema hivi, hata kama Mungu aliweka agano nao, si ndio? Naye kwa hiyo shamba kulikuwa vijitu za wa za watu wale. What are they doing there? Is to test your faith. Hallelujah. What are they doing there? And God has said that is a promised land. Hallelujah. Jamani. Ukosa kazi ya inataka nini? Na Mungu amesema ndio pate kazi yako. Ni kujaribu imani yako. Is to test your faith. If truly you believe in this job. Hallelujah. Are you truly believe in this job? Don't say yes. The test is coming. Hallelujah. Test is coming. Hallelujah. Majaribio yanakuja sio kuangalia kama umeamini kwa matokeo au umeamini yeye Mungu amesema. Ukiamini kwa matokeo majaribio yanakuangusha. You will fall flat. And only Joshua and Caleb make it. But those who believe in the outcome they faith. Hallelujah. 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 What God say? God say that you are blessed. Thank you. You see the word of God say I am blessed because the word of God is a covenant word. Amen. Neno la Mungu ni neno la Agano. Umebarikiwa. Kwa tukienda mbele sasa unaona kama ufukara inapiga birini tu nyimbi sasa kwa nyumba yako vizuri. Unaona? Sasa ni ufukara ya ajabu imeingia sasa. Hii ni majaribio ya kujua Mungu anataka kujua umeamini kwa neno ama kwa matokeo. Ukiamini kwa matokeo utaka. This land will pursue and we will take it when the giants are there god has removed their their power upon them they are just a food to us we must pursue and then when you come now you want to take pick on January uona sahau agana ambao mungu alitengeneza sababu yao alafu mtu wa watu wakasema au vijana wawili wanataka tukufe na watoto wetu kwa sababu watu ni vijitu ya watu I'm telling you things are naked before God. Kwani Mungu akujua kuna vijitu wapi wameishi? Did God don't know that they are dead in that land? Then why are you bringing us to that land to die? Why? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe in outcome, you will fail. I'm telling you fail. Because he who gives you testimony is not in the outcome. He who gives you testimony is in his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you praying for marriage? And you see things are not it is not a time for you to go down. Don't go down. Stand firm in what God has promised you. You see that? I understand. Bale kuna bahari, nyuma fero anakuja baka kaanza kulilia wakaanza kulilia Musa kwani huko Egypt hakuna makaburi 
Unataka tukufu kwa misitu hapa kanda kanda bahari. Si tulikwambia utu waje. Sasa tunaenda wapi? Unaona? But God told Moses. Why are you murmuring? Soja eh. Wewe ni msoja ni na eh ni bahari. Sina mobilia mtu hapa. Na mobilia mtu hapa. Where are we going? I had to pass the sea. Oh, say, soldier, hey. I am spoke my word. Use my word, not what you see. Nime seba neno langu siyo yu na wana wewe enda. Si bahari ni pasuka. Si bahari ni pasuka. Si ni pasuka mbako kapita. Nini nifanya mbako pasuka? Ni neno ambao mbako ni mbako ya musia. Na kwambia sikia neno. Hata kama wane kwa hiyo ofisi wanakwambia kazi hakuna waenda kwa ingine anakwambia waenda kwa ingine ani msema napata kazi napata kazi soje hapo haleluya god is not a man to lie nor a son of man to repent a man not to say and do it haleluya haleluya naomba nasikia hapo bado ni uchungu na sembe a a nimepona 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 the word of god is a covenant word that it can only work upon you if you don't look at what is talking on your side hallelujah no wonder why why paul said that we walk by faith not by sight na wanda Paulo alisema ni tunatembea kwa imani si kwa yale unatazama. Hallelujah. Hai wanda sadi. We don't believe because of the outcome. We believe because God has said so. Hallelujah. 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 You have never been to David and Goliath. Na ungeongelea sasa hiyo bado. You see. I came You came to me with a sword and javelin and on but I come to you with the mighty God the word of God the army of Israel today I will jump to your neck and feed you ahead to the bad of the sea let's hear na wajua nikatotoka dogo nikatotoka dogo but mwe anaambia ni mtu mwingine mrefu 10 feet tall If he was even a laughing, you think I'm a bad that you mean it ain't gonna put you up on a in it for me. Be that story to the Kujana Mawin. What did he mean it ain't? Wait, wait. After he mocked, he mocked them with their God. Hallelujah. But David knew what God has said. He did not start with the outcome. He came with God say what God say I am. Sasa nani alishinda mwanzake? Nani alishinda mwanzake? Can I see the devil in the house here? Can I see the devil in the house? Hallelujah. Jamani, ni nini hii ambayo inataribu ku contradict? What is that try to contradict the word of God? God is not a man to lie. If you say you are blessed you are blessed. If you say you are healed you are healed. It is fine, but can never be changed. 